this woman you're about to see is straight up evil. I'm talking like Disney villain evil. You know, like so fucking evil that it's comically cartoonish and obvious. As we all know, left-wingers are authoritarian and uh, they just love to control people. The same is true with this lady. This lady wants to control you and if she can't do that, she wants you fired from your job. Or not hired at all. And I know you're probably thinking, oh, why'd you pause on this frame? This is like the most unflattering frame you could possibly pause on. No, this is actually just the first frame of the video. And anywhere I'd pause, it would look absolutely ridiculous no matter where I paused. Because she just looks like a fucking villain in every single goddamn frame of this video. Anyways, let's start this fucking video and uh, let's get on with it. Let the roast begin and rights and freedom that would tell you that but since you seem to forget that and you're all loud and proud with your big thoughts and your big big ideas and fuck you and your big books and your big brain and your logic you wanna whatever fucking set up hot tubs in ottawa i'm a recruiter it's a small 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 industry smaller than you'd think same with hr so if you're looking for a job or maybe trying to keep a job what is that thing you're doing with your neck? S stop doing that. Maybe. Just maybe. Ah! Think about what you're putting on social media. Ditto. I mean, the ironic part here is she probably got fired from her job for this video. Which she ironically put on social media. Do you not see the irony here? Satan over here needs to take her own advice. Again, freedom fighters. I know you're not really big with stats and, you know, facts aren't your thing. No, facts are not your thing. Look at you. You're clearly a creature of emotion. You're sitting here bitching because people, complete strangers, think differently than you. That is not the type of person that looks at things factually. That, that's a person that looks at things emotionally and reacts. That, that's how authoritarians are. They're emotional people. Right-wingers are generally the ones that are more on the side of facts. You know, but what I can tell you, what is a fact, is that recruiters talk. And recruiters, like the majority of Canada, don't agree with you. Do you know what that means? Do you have any guesses? Any guesses what that means? Well, typically, people don't really care if somebody thinks differently politically. The only ones that do care are the authoritarian fucking lunatics like you. What that means is that if you need a job, you might not get one. If you want to keep a job, you might not get to do that. You're acting like you're off your fucking meds. And, you know what else HR is good at? Documentation. The sad part is she's probably discriminated against thousands of people already and they never got a job because of it. Man, you can usually tell if someone's fucking insane or nuts just by looking at their eyes and this lady is pretty nuts. You know what that means? You want to be an asshole. We document it. Well, this is kind of ironic too because this is being documented and this is probably why you're going to lose your job. For being an asshole! We give you a couple tries. Then what do we do? We terminate you. With cause. That is beyond evil. You're not hiring this person based on the fact that they're not qualified. You're not hiring them based on the fact that they think differently than you and you don't like that. Your arguments are so weak and you're such a weak person that someone just merely disagreeing with you makes you want to destroy their entire livelihood. If we're so lucky. If not, we give you the minimum allowed by law. Either way, best of luck to you. Recruiters are watching. HR is watching everywhere. And we hate you. We hate you so much. And you think we can't do anything. But we can. We I bet your breath smells like cigarettes and vodka right now. Always remember that. Doesn't matter if there's a fucking man at the top of your HR department. It's run by women. And it's run by angry women just like me. I'm sorry, but you just don't seem like a very reasonable person. I mean, like, I, I just can't imagine a lot of people getting along with you. I mean, I, I don't think anybody really could. So that just makes me think, like, you, you got to be alone. I mean, you, you got to live at home with cats. And that's, all, that's your only friend. It's just a bunch of fucking stray cats. You probably get drunk every single night because you're miserable and your house probably smells like cat piss. 
And your arguments and reasoning are so poor that you never win debates against the people that you lash out at. And you lash out at everybody. But because you don't win those debates, because your arguments are so poor, you try to get revenge on right-wingers the only way you can, by firing them from their jobs or not hiring them in the first place. It's quite pathetic, and it doesn't make up for your poor reasoning and arguments. Doing this doesn't subtly make you right. It makes you an asshole. There is a difference. <sighs> I'm so, so glad I got that off my chest. What if I told you that this woman actually wants your children to actually literally starve to death because you dared to disagree with her? It's been eating me up inside. And honestly, my heart goes out to you guys. I mean, you have families to feed, right? You brought your kids to this big event. You're freedom fighters. You're standing up. Oh, they will be so, so proud. So, so, so proud of you. Fuck yourself. Fuck yourself. Mwah. Love you. So remember, boys and girls, left-wingers like this are supposedly on the right side of history, and you, you're the evil one. Thank you for watching. If you really like this video, be sure to subscribe. Also, smash that like button and the bell button. If you really, really want to support the channel, then become a patron on Patreon. Even if you just donate $1 a month, it helps tremendously. Thanks for watching.